See ya. Sayonara. <laughs> Adios, me armor. Getting dumped in your 30s is never easy, but it can be, it can be worked through. Sorry. Getting dumped in your 30s is never easy, but it can be worked through and nagavated. Nagavate? What the f***? Jessica! What are you doing? I'm sorry! It can be worked through and navigated. <clears throat> Ow! We'll all never be able to navigate it, but that's what they say. Whoever they is. Are you okay? Wh about what? Oh yeah, we were talking about what furniture we were gonna buy for our living room yesterday. But I suppose today we just call it quits forever over nothing for no reason or whatever. Sure, we thought that this relationship was the one and that 30 something was the perfect time to tight the knot, but maybe that wasn't in the cards. And maybe honestly, the card shouldn't have cheated on you with Andrew from work. Why'd you do that, Jessica? Why'd you do that? Ah! Ah! The feeling of ease I felt with you coasting in our 30s was always apparent. What else was also apparent was that you should never be apparent. The amount of trauma that you have is suffocating and you would have destroyed any young being. Good thing we never had pets. Oh wait, we did. Get fucked. <laughs> I know you're getting fucked. <sighs> is that your pet? You guys no, are... stop looking at me. My favorite part of this dumping is we both bought a lot of shit in our place. Who gets that Amazon basic spatula? Do we have split custody of the Amazon basic spatula? We should meet up and talk about the Amazon basic spatula and who should have it and also get back together. What? What? Seth, you're too close, dude. It's too close. It's also, the cool thing is, is I get to figure out how to make new friends now because I'm realizing all my friends were in your social circle and I'm ass at making connections with anybody in the world. The crushing weight on my chest of having to be alone for more than two seconds seeps in at a rapid pace the moment I'm not smelling your pillow at my house. Sus. <laughs> You've been doing this like every time we fucking film, bro. What's wrong? Shut up. Fucking bitch or whatever. Seth, is it weird I bought a body pillow just to fill the void? No, it's super common actually. All right. Oh, that's the body pillow? Yeah. It's my dream woman. Can you read that? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? It was a marriage certificate that I wrote. You it, can't just like write that. I know, it wouldn't have worked. I just thought it was a cute gesture. Kobe! <laughs> Jessica! Why you do this? I'm also happily reminded every time I open up my phone how great my peers are doing. Even the guy who still ate Play-Doh in high school is getting married and got fucking pregnant or whatever. His name's Clay or he eats Clay? He eats Clay, still in high school. Every, everyone ate Clay in elementary school or whatever, but he just still kept eating it in high school. He's fucking pregnant too. His wife's pregnant. Gets you pregnant. His wife is pregnant from his penis. Eating Clay gets you pregnant. No, he was just eating Clay, Seth. That's how we got pregnant? No. I'm honestly over this shit. Uh, I'm dishonestly not over this shit, I, which means I, I am. No, I'm is. honestly over it. But I said I'm dishonestly not over this. This is why she broke up with you. You're so confusing. Huh? Shut up. I had so much of my self-esteem wrapped into our relationship that I feel like once I lost you, I lost most of myself. At least maybe I'll be so sad that I'll lose a few of myself, AKA pounds. I'm overweight and sad. Ah! I want my neighbors to hear me. 